You're making progress on our basement reno. I didn't video the work up to this point, but you can check out my blog post for details on what we have done so far. To quickly summarize, we have built a new three by nine foot closet and removed the old pantry, plus framed in the hallway and door for the new bedroom. Here, we are removing the drywall and chipboard for a new doorway that will go to the new bathroom and allow access to the back stairs. For some reason, the wall was framed with chipboard and drywall. We aren't sure if the chipboard was to provide extra support or act as a firewall. Let me know what you think its purpose is. I forgot to video the cutting. My husband used a multi-purpose tool with a wood cutting blade and cut out the door's opening. That got me. There it goes. Oh, careful, you're going to hit the top track on the ceiling. Yeah. Want to just hold that? Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh it's stuck. That's the nail. Got the pry bar. Ta-da! Oops. <laughs> almost. It's almost a doorway. I'd help you, but I'm busy with the camera. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah. We'll Almost have a doorway. <laughs> so this Getting one I'm going to take it out and put right over here. And this one I'm going to take out right over here. Let's go for that. Yeah, I think that room for that. Yes, I do. So how wide is it? It's 32 if you just take out the middle one then. Yeah, but I gotta put a header too. So. Yeah, yeah. So if I leave this, I gotta put another one in beside right. to support the header. Same as this one. Now we only got a yeah. 28 inch. Okay. Yeah, that's too narrow for that. Go with the original plan. Oops, there. Get it from this side. Okay. Should do a panorama of the laundry room and future bathroom. Big mess over here. Big mess. Future bathroom, future laundry room. Walls coming out, and walls going in. And I think we'll get rid of the carpet on the wall. Here. Looks like there's already, like right there, there's kind of boards there instead. Oh. Hey? Yeah. So maybe you don't have such a big job right there. Yeah. Just take that, whatever it is, out. Yeah. I don't know why they'd have con wood in the future. Maybe. Something to nail to. Oh, maybe. But it would sure make it easier for me. But, I mean, like, if you look at where this, how wide is the space between those two wooden... Like, maybe you could do that. Just adapt a little and... Might be sure to measure from this side. I don't know. I could just stand here and hold the camera and... Watch you struggle. 39. That would have been perfect for an entry. Well, why don't we do that? That would have been an entry. Like, why don't we do that? I could. You might just have a little tiny corner there instead of where the wall. Yep. Or what? 
fucking bring us over too. Yeah. I don't think it would matter that much because that's just part of the closet that yeah. would save a lot of mess. A little bit of cutting. Yeah. You still got to cut the bottom. Yeah, I just run my blade along the bottom. That might just pop right out. <laughs> well, who could hope for more? <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't know. That's asking a lot. Yeah, it is. That'd be awesome. Once the studs were removed and the doorway framed with the header installed, we could cut out the footing. The footing did not just pop out, so we had to cut perpendicularly across the threshold to create small slabs. Because we are working inside, we can't use a hose to keep the blade cool and control dust. We used a squirt bottle in the shop vac, which helped a lot for this step. Here we switched sides so the saw would be able to cut right up to the door frame. We used the tools we had on hand, but a larger saw with a deeper cut would probably have made the job faster and less messy since we wouldn't have had as much concrete to grind out afterwards. The cuts weren't close enough together, so we had to make another pass. You can see how the small slabs pop right out. Box. This works better with one inch cuts, eh? Oh. <laughs> Should we cut some we more? <laughs> smaller cuts, yeah. That, these work nice. Yeah, yeah they did. Well, we'll make Going. some. Make some more cuts, I guess. Here we are making yet another pass to try and get rid of the rest of the concrete. This is where a larger saw would have saved time. This is the same multi-purpose tool we used to cut the doorway, but fitted with a concrete blade. This wasn't the best blade for the job and we've ordered a grinding disc to finish up. The amount of dust and smoke created by the blade was more than the shop vac alone could keep up with. I should have also been spraying the blade with water instead of filming. We managed to set off the smoke detector. Oops. Up next is getting the new grinding disc and finishing off the threshold, and then starting with the framing of the utility room wall and the second bedroom closet. Hit the like and follow and subscribe for more on our renovation.